okay all right so are you guys uh, able to see the screen are you guys able to see the slide which has the title covariance okay uh, so let me go back here to data tab and let me give you a quick summary so when you have see I, I kept saying event 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 right every time i kept i kept saying event event gets collected as a some kind of data this is one event whose data has been uh, collected we don't know what event is but somehow the people who wanted to observe this event decided that these labels here are important for them gender of somebody the salary they are drawing the age range the place where they're from the weight the company uh, probably the car company they drive or maybe what company they work for and the academic degree they have this is what the data is here if you what is this is raw data this is what's with you and this whole thing is what would you call uh, Manjula, this whole thing will be called data distributed okay not distributed distri distribution distribution, distribution. Ah, distribution of data age okay this this is the distribution of age then what will be this distribution of salary salary see you see the words now how salary is distributed across this event correct no mm. yes, sir. right so you you say distribution of age distribution of salary once the distribution is there you naturally will find out what you'll find out the uh, mean, value. mean value, then your sigma square, then standard deviation, then with that you can get to PDF. After PDF. that, after that comes your yesterday. Uh, moments. moments, correct. Till here, till here. See, it is for the single distribution. Till here, this is done for one distribution one whatever we have collected here no even if this is not there you can do all of this for this one variable or one distribution okay. mean the dis the mean of the distribution the variance of the distribution the standard deviation of the distribution the pdf of the distribution the moments of the distribution this is how you understand it however There is also one more computation that you would like to do when another variable is added to the event. Where we can ask the question, how are these two distributions varying together? Varying with respect to each other. So these, I'm not only talking about this variance now. This variance is only this. But I am talking about co-variance, how these two are moving with respect to each other. Very, very important concept because most of the, most of the hidden, you know, computations are all this only. It may have fancy names. But eventually, this is what you're calculating. So I want you guys to like, uh, we'll do that. We'll discuss how this thing works. And in a, in a you know, general way, we will figure this out uh, as to why these things are working the way they are working. But then yeah. you, you like to see this question. Yeah, Vichayin. so in one of your video, I saw that there are multiple data distributions and variants. So in that, uh, I, I noticed that and observed that so Panda will help us, which is the best uh, data distribution we need to pick and work and we can plot the moments. That is feature selection using multivariate analysis. You saw multivariate, correct? Yeah. 
yes multivariate in yes that pandas videos it extended to multivariate uh, analysis correct multivariate multivariate yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes. multivariate regression right so there you saw covir how covariance come and to the rescue yeah. where you can choose which one is more correct correct absolutely very nice right i think even vikash has also seen that i guess the pandas videos and multivariate oh, yes. So basically, yeah, I think because I'm reiterating re every day the same stuff and same stuff, I feel now this is become obvious to you, correct? The moment you see some distribution, these things are all there in front of you. And only when we do matplotlib and Python using Python, you will see how programmatically we can compute all of these things. And you also know the meaning of these things. So when you ask for a kurtosis of something, you know what to expect. When you ask the skew of a PDF, you know what it says. The interpretations are there. So that interpretations, you have to different, different case studies and different, different um, scenarios. You'll have to think and interpret that meaning of those shapes. And yeah, not that I know everything, not that I have seen all possible shapes in the world. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's how things are. And after a while, you get to know the underlying principle and you work around that. So that's how things work. So we are more interested in covariance most of the times. How these two things are varying with respect to each other. So it means if the salary is increasing, is age also increasing? Or if age is increasing, is salary also increasing? Here the, it depends which one becomes X and which one becomes Y is also a problem. Or you, you don't know. Okay, we don't know which one goes to X and which one. What would you rather, what would you like to um, predict? Would you like to predict, sort of, let's say, um, uh, Manjanath, should I take this as, if I want to plot these two, should I take this as Y or this as Y axis? Let me think, sir. Y means what? Y is what? X, MX, square plus C. Huh. But means in terms of whether it is dependent or independent. Salaries. I think salaries are uh, independent. Age is dependent. So you mean to say, you plot a graph like this. And you'll put salaries here. No, no, no. Age, 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 age is in X. Ah, so then, age is how age becomes independent then? When Y is depending on X in terms of XM plus C, Y took, for Y to see, it is like Y comes into picture only if you know X. You can't yes. directly know Y, correct? That is what yes. it means. So, it, y is dependent here, no? Yes. X is independent, no? Yes, sir. The form is not the same. But usually, okay. y x salary. data variable. So, I am bringing that to you. So, you, I am I'm getting that thing for you. Okay? Age and salary. If you put salary here and age here, it means you are trying to build a scenario where you are thinking that the salary depends on age. That's why you chose to put like this. You are thinking that. Uh -huh. The scientist uh -huh. is setting up the problem in such a way that your problem statement is if salary depends on age, who would like uh, to do depends this? On salary. Means age what? Is dependent on salary. No, no, I am not saying that. No, I am not saying that. Nobody says that. Nobody says okay. age depends on salary, no. No, okay. And nobody says salary depends on age. But different, different, why this y is equal to mx plus c comes here? Why this y is equal to mx plus c comes here? Because somebody wants to model this so that they can predict the y. Now, who, so you can interchange this also. One company, mm. company A will model this. Company B 
will do this salary was the sage uh, means what they are predicting what what is predicted here if salary age comes here what is the prediction you are predicting age correct using salary that's what it means correct yes see yes. if y comes here x comes here y is equal to mx plus c is your function correct yes you, you can predict y by getting giving x that's what right input is what x output is x. y y so by inputting x you're getting y by inputting salary you're getting age by inputting age you're getting salary if you are getting yes. the salary come think about it which company would like to predict age oh uh, the okay. salary data which company okay, okay, would okay. like to predict age? For, for, uh, for, for. yeah we need to think which companies giving based on the age no, they are no, giving no 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 forget it you you don't see this here i am not even talking about place weight company i am only talking about age and salary insurance companies would like to predict age correct yes yes correct if the same data uh, yes, is yes, given yes. to two different companies one car yeah, company higher yeah. you can bear higher premium yes so for an insurance company data analyst they will clearly say, boss, I have all this salary data from people. Some have got it. You, I will give you salary data. You predict the age. So based on the predicted age, we can create, uh, show, you know, different kinds of insurances as an add to them. There will be something else. There will be, let's say, academic degree and place where they studied, you know, which college they studied those values will be able to predict the salary okay mm. and using mm. salary they'll predict the age mm. see how how these things go you're getting that so yes, uh, now comes a car company who wants to sell a product to a particular person, it doesn't matter what age they are. For them, what matters? What salary bracket they, they are. are. Yeah, they are. Getting salary is important for the, so yeah. most of the company. Yes. So, you see, whenever I say X and Y, Y and X, and F, what fix, what is fixed is, on the x-axis, independent variable comes up. That is fixed. Mm -hmm. But which one will be the independent variable will never be fixed. Mm -hmm. It depends on whom? It depends on the... Depends on the use case. Sir. Like use who, case, the business case. Yeah, who wants to predict what? Absolutely, that's what it depends on. This requires a picture, correct? We will take a snap of it. Because you're making that uh, entire PPT, you know, out of this. Yes, yes. This pictures. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, so we, we calculate uh, y is equal to mx. Please, that's your linear regression. That's your regression analysis. Before that, to select all the features, we collect. We we compute something called a covariance. And that again gives rise to another computation called correlation. So that's what we're going to figure out now. We'll, we'll go intuitively what happens. For that, you will have to first get refreshed about mathematics. Again, I just kept saying that everything, people are very smart. They keep, they keep 
you know, checking they keep using many of those basic stuff that we have studied into use and just turns out these things work like that so it's interesting we will see anyways so you guys remember all these things now this is your theta Values are not definitely not remembering, sir. Okay, so I remember only sine cos theta plus cos cos theta is equal to one. Mm, yeah, fine. That you will remember, right? I can understand because <laughs> it is, you will never, you can never forget it, though. Correct? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, what did you say? Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Is it true? Right, so what is happening here? Uh, you decided to take something like when you have this triangle in front of you, you have the base, you have the adjacent. Okay, that's what is happening. You have the base, you have the adjacent, and then you have the hypotenuse. Now, the question is can you find out? Uh, given a triangle, what is the relationship? Because see, this angle here, no, this particular angle here, this sort of remains constant here, this 90 degrees. Okay. But this can change and this can change or this can change, right? So these are the variables here. So they wanted to build an algebra or some relationship to relate the angle and the sides. That is, you keep seeing if you want to see, if you want to develop some kind of a mathematical uh, relationship, geometrical relationship. So suppose next time, because I know this, every time a right angle triangle comes into the picture, I know this is 90 degrees. But these angles depend on how steep these go. You are understanding that, right? right? These angles depend on how... Oh. These angles depend on how steep... Right? If you only... If you keep this as constant, then you see... This changes. Because it is starting from here. But if you extend this... Again, a new angle. This is a new angle. This is itself a new angle. So, yeah, I mean, given male more in life, you will you will find you will you will find these kind of circumstances in many times, where uh, you know you just know this and you just know this one, but you don't know what's this side of you know uh, this uh, side at all. Because once you know one of the sides, then probably you can get use a, a Pythagoras theorem and get to the hypotenuse. These things happen because just look at this and figure out that it is a it is a vector on the map and you are trying to find the shortest distance. Then you will realize the importance of knowing all these things. So you can't, you can just say, why, why should somebody bother about these things? But people used to bother about this. There was money. Today it may not look like knowing trigonometric ratios uh, it has any value, but back then there was a time when Trigonometric ratios were the difference between one market being closer and another market being farther away, although it was opposite case, right? So you could find all these shortest distances and everything. And the same shortest distance, same relationships, where instead of being used on a map, it can be used on a reference system where the values, the variables are different, but the concepts are the same. So what this said is sine theta. Uh, base by hypotenuse, uh, correct? Was it uh, base by hypotenuse? What was that? Hypotenuse by. If anyone remembers, still. The sine is opposite by hypotenuse. Sine is opposite. Oh, opposite is what? This is hypotenuse. This is base. 
this is adjacent okay i opposite by base is what let me check because we don't i also don't remember okay let me check let me check yeah we get this Geek for Geek has something interesting. So sine of something is opposite by hypotenuse. This is the opportunity, uh, opposite, this is the hypotenuse. So basically adjacent, the perpendicular by hypotenuse is your sine of the value. So what if you can, uh, you know, this ratio, bit, ratio of the value of the, op, the side, the size of the opposite, and size of the hypotenuse in in terms of its size real size if you take this ratio opposites and by hypotenuse where your hypotenuse is this your oh, calling opposite is this and this is your base if at all they have used the base somewhere opposite hypotenuse adjacent oh you're calling this as adjacent fine fine you have to just understand in their own way so ratio between uh, so you can say I'll give the angle so you can check that I want you forget about the names I want you to get the feeling this by this is your sign then this is adjacent by hypotenuse. See, I'm giving the arrow should say this one comes first, this one comes below. Then it is opposite by adjacent. Okay. If you simply take this length of this, length of this divided by this, you get some value. Okay. Whatever value of that is, you will call it as some sign of that angle okay so you are trying to express that and if this see this angle if this you see this x x x this x has been kept constant here now how will that x change that x will change you see this how will this x change i want you to see this x this is constant for a constant x which is sine of this is that theta okay this angle is subtended this is that theta so when will this change this will change i'll draw the same stuff for you uh, hoping that this uh, this and this you can see the parallels the x is here the h is here the o is here so you have sin x is equal to o by h whatever this degree is. suppose this was this degree here is 30 degrees suppose so now you have a, if this is 30 degrees, which means what? This is the rise, no? This is the rise, correct? 30 degree rise. This 30 degree rise is what it is, it is affecting the height. If this becomes 45 degrees, what will it affect? it will affect the height so this will change means what this will become larger 
this value will change then what happens sin 45 will be a different o bigger o although the hypotenuse remains the same same way sin 90 more value if this is here no sin 90 means if this becomes here if this goes here uh, maybe my question may be full but uh, still i will ask this question mm -hmm. so right what is uh, hypothesis the length increase i thought other than consider i model wala. oh yeah you should you should yeah you should consider no no not silly i i missed it i was only focusing on this yes this also will change yeah right correct good observation this also changed this also changed okay. so when it becomes if you're talking about sine 90 degrees the size you where will this meet now is not probably meeting correct because even if it is 89 degrees this angle that one degree will ensure that somewhere the tri uh, triangle is so steep that somewhere there is a chance that these two will meet but if it is 90 degree correctly then you know you you're 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 not going to see that so what it means sine 90 the sine of 90 degree is pure one the sine of zero means if there is no angle at all if there is no rays at all then there is no this o is not existing so it is zero so your sine is zero so basically these shapes right these different shapes are giving you different values okay so so what they did they just uh, calculated for different different measures what happens and they found out that certain ratios are common certain ratios no matter how much the length is if you keep that angle as 30 degrees you will always end up with the sine of that 30 means what what is the sign of that sign means opposite by hypotenuse of the op the ratio of the opposite side and the hypotenuse of a triangle where the theta is 30 degrees is half so at least you know now that opposite by hypotenuse is half so if you can just calculate the hypotenuse you will get the opposite you don't have to go and measure it in the world because of this computations became uh, much much easier so that is your trigonometry they made a table out of it like how may they make a log table they even have made a large integral table like people do that most of the mathematicians in the universities were doing this only making tables of repeatedly occurring patterns in the world and this was one of the patterns which related to geometric and correlation and covariance somehow uses these uh, concepts to get their computation done so let me just go and check see to tell you how this this stuff works covariance okay covariance measurement is think of the data sets of two variables as high dimensional vectors think of the data sets of the two variables think of the data set of two variables where are the two variables here two variables are here hmm? think of these data sets as vectors high dimensional vector means vector means what so think of it as an umpire array on this because that's a vector hmm? you can now visualize the change in here as if it is some high dimensional vector to mean whether you are seeing something like suppose there is a growth of there is a growth of salary continuous growth of salary then there is a continuous growth of age 
exactly how salary is increasing, age is also increased. Suppose, so the angle subtended between these two different vectors, the angle between them is zero, and the resolution, that is the covariance. between these two algebraically and using your uh, vectors has been reduced to the cove between salary and age suppose sal comma a has been reduced to something called a dot product in vectors okay a dot between a dot b dot product if you just do the dot product of these two then you are getting the covariance of it so we'll just convert these to the vectors of variances from the mean the vectors of variances from the mean this you already done see converting something to the vectors a vector, what? It contains variances from the mean. That you already done once. 1, 4, 5, 4, 8. You took 4.4 .4 as the mean. Then you found this difference, correct? Yes. Uh, this vector, what was there, no? 3.4, then another one, another one, another one. All these values were there. That is the vectors of variances from the mean. This vector for variances from the mean of salary is different, of age is different. These are the two high dimensional vectors whose dot product, that is what? What is meaning of dot product? Cosine of the angle between them. So if you want to do a dot product of A dot B, you are actually finding the cos, means that is, Whatever A and B, however they are, if A is like this, A is moving like this, and B is moving like this, means the change. Um, suppose you have, uh, from the mean value, if this is continuously increasing, from the mean value, because if this value is like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and suppose you find the value, mean values to be, what could be 11, 15, 18, 19, 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 21 by 6, 6, 3, 0, 18, 6, 1, 3 point, some 3.5 mean value will get. So the difference is slowly increasing, no? Correct. If you keep checking the distance, this will increase, right? The value? Difference? Correct? From here to here. As I move from here to here, this difference will increase. The angle is changing. Ah, so, the, the, just the slow gradient, it is increasing. So, if you look at it that way, if you now look at it, let's suppose you have, I want to give you an example. Suppose you have two different distributions. I am putting A and B. Both having same data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is also this distribution also same 3 4 5 6 7 8 now you want to find the covariance between this and this you will do that thing that i just did now 1 2 3 4 5 find the mean value whatever is that mean value just take it as mu1 you are more interested in the difference but this difference is changing gradually, correct? This is your mm. case A. Come to B. Same thing. Same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mu 2. But the difference is same. So, if you actually plot it, you will see wherever this gets plotted, B also will get plotted there only. Same progression. So, what it means between this and this, angle is 0 degree. 
So the cos of the angle subtended by A and B is your dot product. So if you find the cos of this, what is cos of 0? Answer. 1. So the covariance or in fact it is a correlation because if it is directly going to come as 1, then it is correlation. <coughs> Because after taking the dot product, the cosine of the angle between them, of the two vectors, you divide by the, um, um, you divide by the standard deviation of the sample size, of each sample size, okay, the standard div of the each sample size, that's missing here. So you find, you divide it by the standard div, then you get this one. But intuitively, if you can see cos, because the cos of that between the, the angles are um, 0 and 0 leads to 1, so we can say the correlation between A and B is pure 1. 1 meaning, if you change, this one will change. If one thing increases, other thing is increasing, one thing is decreasing, other one is decreasing. So we find a very positive correlation between A and B. Suppose... Just one question. Uh, so why we consider as a cos? Why not sign there? I'm getting confusing there. No, no, it's okay. Cos zero. Why you want to calculate the cos of something? So how you arrived that I have to take cos zero? No, not tan zero, not tan zero. No, 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 no. That that is something. If you take the cos of it, so always we need to take the cos of. It that, is defined. Uh, it cost. is defined. Yeah, it is defined that defined. you are okay. going to take it. So you can check if you want to intuitively check this. So that's what. Uh, See, the cos of something is what. The cause of something by. is adjacent by hypotenuse. These two angle. Mm. See, but if you take the hypotenuse and the opposite, if you take the sign, it is not this. You are not talking, you are not calculating this. You see this? You are not doing, this is not the angle mm. which is interesting. Mm. You are talking about the angle subtended by this vector A and B. And the only, only ratio is your, because you are interested in what? Some relationship between adjacent and hypotenuse, correct? Okay. And so we, we need to consider always cos, that's what. Uh... Yeah, because you are drawing these vectors. Okay. Correct. You I mean you're not drawing. You are looking at the problem as if you're looking at the problem as if these two variables are these two vectors. See, you are just changing the way you're seeing the problem. So you're saying let's suppose these two vectors are making a den making a change and I want to observe both the changes together. I would like to take the cos of the angle between them. Because I, I I know the range. Mm. I know its I know its length. I know its length. So if I can know this and I can also take the cos of it, then I can see the relationship. Because all I now need is I can get to know whether these are moving against opposite with each other or just perpendicular to each other. So there is no meaning, if you can see, there is no meaning in going for sine of the angle because if you want the sine of the angle, then it will be this. Or, or in mm. fact, the sine of this angle will require the opposite and the hypotenuse to come into the picture where you are mm. dropping this. If suppose you want to see the whole problem itself as A and B, then you are talking about this angle, then the whole problem changes, correct? So you would rather be interested in taking the cause of something, but I am I'm I'm driving you into the right direction. That's the reason why 
you would rather want the cost because both the hypotenuse and adjacent are the ones which we talk about uh, as the vectors that are interested uh, that are the part of our data right baki you can go and check and you can uh, nudge yourself into mm-hmm. it's a good question yeah. though i mean you can you can explore that anyway so let's get to that data dot product cosine of the angle between them and divide by the standard deviation of the sample size so you will eventually get something like this interpretation of covariance a little it it can lead you to different uh, uh, understanding but fine we'll just understand we know a small covariance close to zero means there isn't much correlation between two variables large covariances that is far from zero could be negative for inverse relationship means there is a correlation but how large is it how large is large before i come to that let me let me explain what is trying to say one suppose you have two variables suppose you have two variables a and b you take salary on this salary and age you got all this data fine then you calculate the mu one mu two fine then you did all this okay and you took this vector and you took this vector the change vectors from the mean and you plotted it onto a cartesian plane okay case number 1 if both suppose this is one vector another vector is absolutely on the top of it this is not the correct color to use Hmm. Another one is on the top of it. Means what? The theta between them is zero. Another case. This is like this, and the other angle is totally moving this way. When will this happen? If your a if your a is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 if your b is 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 1 then it is completely opposite correct yes sir yes yes now the angle between them is zero no what is the angle this angle this is Only zero degree. Ah, one eighty. Oh, one eighty. So, what is cos of one eighty? Minus one. Minus one. If it is exactly with each other, cos of zero, one. If it is exactly opposite, cos of one eighty minus one. Suppose if it is like this, another case. cos of 90 mean see this at least see it may be opposite but there is a repeated relationship here no it is exactly opposite but that is also interesting something is moving the other thing is exactly mirroring the opposite of it so something must be happening correct correct vikash and manjuna it's not that just because you got minus 1 doesn't mean that there is no interesting stuff there one thing is increasing other thing is decreasing there is a relationship no there is yes. always everything should increase with each other is not the contention in life it doesn't happen you are observing for patterns if suppose you find out that boss as one thing is increasing the other is decreasing that is also intelligence correct you have gained some intelligence out of the data isn't it because at least you are able to match that one thing increases other thing decreases we know this correct uh, anjanath correct uh, good thing to know correct yeah it's another thing is yeah it's yeah. producing and yeah, that is also intelligence but it is not intelligent when you see something like this one something is moving here and something really has no effect at all it's just moving here or here or here 
so you are looking at these angles between let's say suppose some 60 or 70 degrees to 120 degrees these are all not interesting at all means these things come into picture when there is absolutely no relationship between a and b so that's why you have just standardized cos of 90 is zero so now these are the correlation values whenever you take the cosine of the angles of the vector from the mean so i hope now now we're talking to a little deeper cosine of the angles of the vectors from the mean of the distribution it takes time but you have to develop this language okay uh, that's fun right developing this is a new language you're learning not python it is not it's not um, you know, japanese that you're learning no it's a statistics expressing statistical quantity is a language in itself okay so you have you'll have to sort of get used to it i mean you should enjoy this so that's what i'm trying to draw and uh, so you will see you will see one minus one and zero uh, most of the times you don't know when what happens but fine whatever happens is left to the the nature of the distribution so let me just get back and there are a lot of other stuffs that uh, we will have to understand not everything can be understood from ppt that's why the record video has been recorded and uh, that's why uh, I'm, i i draw between different different pictures so that you get at least some degree of information before you delve into your own research so that's what happens. So you find some covariance values, then you divide those covariances by standard deviations of both variables and that normalizes things. So basically when you get covariance, co-value, co uh, cove of salary and age, you will take the dot products of these two, the dot product and the sign of the dot products, right? The sign of the um, products will give you some value, some value which will be um, some delta into uh, standard deviation of S into standard deviation of H. This is the pattern. So after the covariance is found out, you divide the value by standard deviations of both the values. Then you are left with that whatever that delta is. This whatever is going to be left after dividing the standard deviations. This delta will always be between minus 1 and 1. That's what this is saying. I will show you this. In fact, you, you will see all these things. In fact, it is there. I have already done this uh, as a part of your... Uh, where is that? See, correl and covariance uh, and correlation between. We have done the hard-coded stuff here, okay, by dividing it. This, this is something which you should be checking out. And... Uh, before before I come here, I want to do some exercises of Matplotlib. Of, of course, I couldn't get to the Matplotlib today, uh, but it takes time and these kind of stuff. That's why I said correlates, co correlation, covariance requires uh, some amount. is very important concept, so it requires some kind of a slow burn, which will get you to that feeling. But uh, what I was wanting to draw at also was yeah I'll I'll, I'll completely I'll complete uh, matplotlib as a separate entity tomorrow that's fine uh, but this one is you can you should see this you should see what's happening I'm now pretty sure that you are able to understand um, uh, these functions in Python but I also want you to understand something from this matplotlib which is very important so i'm going to now talk about this covariance correlation fine you it is just co cove of stuff between each see see
see this uh, see NP dot uh, uh, correlation coefficient between page speeds and purchase amount two variables it will give you an array this array looks like this actual covariance is this or actual correlation is this okay It just that's as simple as that but we have already instead of directly asking for it we have written the whole code here see we have written the whole code each and everything but what you are not understanding from this what you will not understand from this right now is this baki everything you will understand you can map what is happening this is a function it takes the argument what is doing x minus xi minus x mean is what x i is all right x x mean for x i and x means i'm looping through everything so this is your vector from the mean this vector from the mean was what you're calculating and after that you're doing covariance values and you're returning the dot product of what the d mean here which is you know the vectors of mean value of x the vector difference from mean value of y divided by n minus 1 sample size because you need to divide it by sample size and because it is sample you do n minus 1 okay so we'll understand that also later uh, sample variance and population variance why it is going to be n minus 1 you will get the idea but it is n minus 1 here so fine we do that and you get covariance after you get the covariance how do you get the correlation you take the covariance value and divide it divide it by standard because when you get the covariance see the covariance between purchase speed and purchase amount see the covariance is minus 12 or something okay only after you divide it by standard deviations of both its distributions then you find a value between minus one and one so this is some thing that you have to understand of course people who developed this took years to master it and you know complete it so we will of course we'll have to give some time to study this but that's the challenge the more you go and think why things these things are happening that is what makes you understand and retain the knowledge in a more interpretable, applicable way, which what is what a data scientist or a male engineer is supposed to do. So, yeah, I would encourage you to go and do your own research while all the material is in front of you. And of course, you can pause and play and pause and play the video that gets recorded and sent to you. So, the effort, if you put the right effort, it's just there, out there for you to grab the knowledge. So that's what here, but I want you guys to understand this before I, I close the session today. The matplotlib part where forget about what I'm doing here, matplot, meme, port, numpy, all that you just forget about it. I just want you to see something very interesting. I want you to see this plot, a scatter plot. What does it remind you of? Gaussian curve, sir. Gaussian curve. Now, this Gaussian curve was plotted by who plotted this? Python? Correct? That's what it is, right? You Python plotted this. I mean, we just gave the command to get plotted, but Python plotted it, no? Yes. Correct. What did it do? It took some values here. Now, what is the meaning of this plot actually? What, what does Python do when it plots something? It just takes one value from x-axis, another value on y-axis. If it finds these values, it puts a dot for that. That's all it does, correct? What else is plotting? What else do you think a, a code or anybody can do? Plotting means that only, no? Mm -hmm. Do you think any other magic can happen there? Nothing. No. It can't. This See, actually, the whole understanding of anything is to reduce it to nothing. If you can, that's why coding, that's why ability to code something is supreme value because you've taken something, mis something complicated, a complicated process of life 
and you have reduced it to data structures, loops, and functions. That's really intelligent if you can do it. Okay, so that's why I feel finally, if you're a coder, then you're really good. That's it. That's all there is to it. After that, you can learn anything, right? So yeah, it's it's that. And uh, what I wanted to show you is how did we get here? Because these pictures are all different. How what made this picture come here? This picture came because I said plot dot show. That's why this picture was shown. But before getting shown, it should have been plotted. So how did that get it? I said plot dot scatter. So it scattered what? X comma Y. What is X? X is here. Y is here. But what is that X? X is NP dot arrange minus 3 and 3 with step size of 0 0.1. Do you know what this means, correct? Do you know what this means? What it does? When you say np dot arrange numpy, please arrange. You know you are calling that. You are saying numpy package, please arrange some values between minus three and three with the step size of zero point one. So it starts with minus zero minus three and it moves to minus two point nine. Moves to minus three point sorry. 2.8 it does all that and eventually it gives you those uh, uh, array which has, contains how many values from minus 3 to 0 you'll have 30 values correct so 0 to mm -hmm. 3 you'd have another 30 values so your length of that this variable this uh, array will be 60 so I just put here after plotting this I have asked some print values see this print the length of x so length of x is printed 60 then i said create another array for me in such a way that this array looks like as if it is the normal distribution of x means what means create an array y such that the points that x comma y gets plotted that looks like a normal distribution. So I already am giving you x. Now you give me the y value so that each pair of your x comma y point will become a normal distribution. So it generated that y sequence for you. Such the, how did it do it? Very simple. You also can write a code for it. Not a big deal. Okay. What it means is what you should understand because between the theory and the visualization our brain is not able to map what is happening you get into the practice of it and half of a problem is solved what is supposed to do it is supposed to take the value 3 and it is supposed to assign a probability of occurrence of that if that's what this is you take x is equal to this whole vector now y should be another vector which should contain 60 numbers and each one, each of that value should be the probability of the occurrence of minus 3 probability of occurrence of minus 2.9 probability of occurrence of minus 2.8 this value it is assigning but we also are giving one more information what that is should be a normal distribution. So when the normal distribution comes up, the probabilities are already decided because we only have decided that for a normal distribution between this value and this value, you have 34%, 34%, another 12.3, 12.3, 6, 6, 0 0.1, whatever this distribution is, we already know for each value this much if I keep assigning. Then eventually the x comma y when plotted, for each of the 60 points will look like this. Is it getting, is it making sense? Vikash? Yes, sir. Okay. Manjunath? Yes. So, program problem statement but uh, statistics I am feeling very difficult for me. So, I am mean, hmm. thinking in a different way. It's okay. So, I actually, will... Actually, this is I am not going to use in my profile or anywhere. Is I am not. This is my. I will talk to you sir later. 
no you will have to use this i mean this is how this is how your machine learning will, machine learning models will be interpreted how else do you think uh, your uh, chat gpt is working without knowing this distributions you are reducing mm-hmm. this okay it's okay yeah don't you just tell me that you are not understanding but don't tell me you don't want to understand it no sir i am not understanding okay. because it is forceful it is what is becoming a force to me it is are then force it force back and learn it okay we will teach you if you not understand it discuss more you will understand it don't no don't ever say okay this is beyond my this one it is not that difficult vikas is it that difficult whatever i taught so for nothing it is yes sir in effort i really appreciate i don't have any single doubt on your effort I am no, not I am uh, not talking about effort man my contention is if it is difficult i will only tell you it is difficult don't you don't need to learn this it is not worth in life you understand no, what i am not saying about the worth in, in life for all i live so i am not talking about the worth in life so just i am talking about myself i am thinking about myself not the uh, content it's okay i will tell you i will make you learn this see again you come yes, from sir, backwards pretty, you come just from continue, backwards just continue sir just continue talk you i will talk with okay, you okay okay right 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 fine fine no, no problem we'll i don't want to waste vikas time also right no no nothing like that manju so even if you have any fundamental doubts you can always feel free to reach out to me also because uh, uh, like i understand that your uh, career path is currently uh, not i mean uh, it's it's totally different from this but somewhere you can always uh, learn that like maybe as sir said one or two months if you invest your time in this uh, dedicatedly then you will be able to understand that uh, not much of a problem you feel free to reach out to me also if you have any fundamental doubts in fact i'll clear one more fundamental doubt for uh, manjunath now maybe he'll laugh it off but uh, manjunath see the whole idea as i told you the other day is to learn the skill which is valued high in the industry correct yes sir so you are feeling it is difficult no correct so whoever comes behind you learning this will also feel it is difficult <laughs> okay so what you are supposed to do now is somehow take the help of a mentor the class the books the resources and just cross that barrier so once you cross this barrier you are in a space where competition is less and a value skill value is high correct see of course you need i am able to understand the core what you are written i am really understand the core core part i don't have anything i learn it and i will do it Hmm. but the thing what is you are telling x y 3 point uh, plotting wait wait, wait so three point those... uh, you didn't see this uh, in numpy array did we not do this vikas in uh, numpy example that we gave yeah arrange video that was yeah. arrange works so, i can understand yeah you understand so you have got 60 points with you okay 60 points now what i want to show you how a normal distribution uh, my let's say my 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 goal today was to show you how to plot a normal distribution okay fine correct no how to plot a normal distribution is my goal to plot something i need a x vector and a y vector you agree here with me manjula yes sir i need x and y ishta tha nimge arth aagta idana x u beku nanage y nu beku a x alli indish points irbeku y nalli points irbeku correct ana pa X points na naan heng create marde, 60 points create marde na nili. Fake kido, fake create mari kido. Okay. A fake data create marda ke yen command use marde, np dot arrange use marde. Arrangement yen marde na no minus three in the three zero point one step size dal arvat points kor pada pande sik tu na nili. But naan ge ni thali nimgesh normal distribution heng plot heng girette anta torso sik tu na nili. ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು 
ಇಲ್ಲರಿ ಲೇಟರ್ but you have to learn how the python code is plotting no that's what i'm trying to tell if this plot okay. happened here if this plot has happened here this came into the being because why okay suppose e value yakappa bantille why did this so nicely it is getting plotted just see this how why did this point come here only because this point is nothing but some 0.32 okay na comma idenappa ille minus 1 and 0 so this should be just 0.9 something uh, 0.8 irbodu ethara illi idella illa 0.7 irbodu minus 0.7 is 0.32 comma minus 0.7 ige one the dot haku anta instruction ide adakke hakira thane dot na asa adartha idu sari dot wait 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 hakide who no illo andre ashte ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ತಾನೇ ಹಾಕಿರೋದು ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದು ವರ್ಡ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನಗೆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವೈ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಯುವರ್ ಬೇಬಿ when you give marbles to it don't you think it will just scatter everything that's what you said no 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 she will just you know rip across things she is very curious that is what scattering means a scatter ray scatter is okay sir right ray get scattered no illa sir nan nanaga you know i got it what scatter is i once i can understand the kannada meaning of that scatter i got i my mind is recognized scatter meaning is chaturisu so i know what is chaturisu so that is oh, distributed see. now that is your responsibility as i told in the beginning only whenever you see a english word remember one thing the english man use the english word because he understands the meaning of that english word all you have to do is go and translate it to your kannada or whatever language you are using then correlate the meaning of it you will get it that's what you should be doing okay that's a given hmm. now see see manjurat i am trying to draw something else here you just say yes or no when i say this okay 0.32 and minus 0.7 if you do point go on the dot haku andiddike a dot banta illa heli avudu sir avudu e dot ge en bantu inni yado point ge 0.25 matte 0.81 ig innond dot haku anta bantu correct ah naan helthirad hinge ee pair sikthane hogutte this pair we created this pair we created using this np dot arrange this pair was created by using y is equal to norm dot pdf of x avane helidri x value thago adakke ondond x value gunu ondond x value gunu nine probabilities assign maarkon band bidu anta aitha ಬಟ್ ಅದು ಕೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಸುಮ್ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಏನಕ್ಕಪ್ಪ ನಾನು ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿಟಿ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ನನ್ ಮನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಬಂದಂಗೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿಟಿ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ಲಾ ಅಂತೀನಿ ಅನ್ನತ್ತದು ಅದಾಗ ನಾವ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಿ ನಿನ್ ಮನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಬಂದಂಗೆ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಡ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ನಾಳೆ ಆ ತರ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡು ಅಂತೀರಿ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಆ ತರನ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅದೇನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ಗೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ದಂಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ನೋಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ correct so it will assign okay. the probabilities in such a way that after plotting x and y your graph looks like this so this is what is happening this entire layout here is fake i have created a fake normal distribution for you using fake data so got it sir got it but got the it. thing is what where i struck is hmm. you you decided to plot in a normal way correct you mind by seeing the data hmm. so you said the code to put it in a normal distribution so use yes. the normal distribution and plot the graph but yes. my mind is 
asking how Vijay or Vikas is arrived at the decision by seeing the data, normal has to be used. The fact that you have expressed this is the most amazing stuff. By looking at the data, you don't arrive at normal. Okay. Yeah, but this is not her. What I will do in my, my case, right? I will use the whatever the possible ways to drop normal or any other uh, plots are there. I will print all the things and I will use the best one, just like a trial and error method. No, no, I'm, I'm giving you a different narrative. You don't, you don't look at the data. You don't look at, you don't look at this. You, the story is different. E distribution node, but te, niv idhna normal distribution maarthi ro, illa binomial maarthi ro, illa poussins maarthi ro. This is not in your hand. Ah, I don't know what to do. This is not your hand. This is distribution. You can check it out. This is normally distributed. Uniformly distributed. I can plot all the problems. You cannot plot. You, how can you plot? If it is not distributed nor, uh, uh, uniformly, how can you plot a uniform distribution for it? Oh, I will and tell I, to Python to plot. No, so you can't look plot. That looks. No, you can't plot it. You can't plot it because it's like saying uh, it's like saying somebody who doesn't live in water, you will ask them to go and live in water. Atara, atara goi tado. Ni matra data sikta ga, adon distribution apa, okay na? Ida kasmat norm ignore illa kele. If you ask ten lakh people how many heads they have, one 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 you will get correct, correct mm. no? Huh? Yes. You have this ten lakh data points. <laughs> All names you have, every person's name you have, and you have how many heads they have? How many heads? One, 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 one. Can you plot a normal distribution for this? Is it normally distributed? No, 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 we can't do. We can't ah, do. It is uniformly distributed, no? Uniformly distributed. Ah, yes. How can you change something which is uniformly distributed to normal distribution? No, it's not possible. Okay. So basically, once the distribution is front of you, you can only check what kind of distribution it is you can't decide for it why because okay. see again how this distribution came it distribution came by an event correct yes it's from the so, event yes so you can only check how this event is distributed can you change this event it's already done no no, no event is already occurred occurred mathematically you can't change the event yes this I want you to understand. Once you understand that whatever you are doing, the effort you are putting here is actually to predict that event, you will see the power in it. Okay, that's what. We will redo this. We will redo this. And I hope Vikash, from every, uh, you know, every angle I am approaching, I hope you are getting a little, you know, measure out of it or some purchase out of that. I don't, of, of course, I know that you know stuff, but uh, thank you for yes, that. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, Actually, uh, the basics are uh, getting even more uh, strength and So I don't have a problem with this. Like it's so, it's good. Uh, just that Manju needs to be. Uh, I mean, he needs to feel more confident. That's the only thing. I'm I'm okay. I mean, I don't have a problem. Super super. Yeah, Manju, we are there. We both are. We have two mentors now. Think of that. Okay, he has his own way. Vikash has his own way of uh, putting things. Everybody has because see, eventually, what happens is we learn. In fact, that is what the whole learning is. How? What kind of model? of the world we have in our mind. That's what we do. That is what intelligence is. Every day we are looking at the world and improving our model of the world. If you have a wrong model, then you will face difficulties in the world. Correct? That's what intelligence is. So we are all striving for the right model. And that's why we go for to mentors. We go to, so like that, Vikash has its own way of getting a very good model. That's why he's always asking questions, he's understanding. And you are also doing the same thing. In fact, I'm not saying you are not doing. You always lead the direction to practical applications of why am I doing this, which is so good. So that's why it, it excites me to clear things for you because I'm very sure when I clear it for Manjunath, he gets it. Okay. That's what I want to do. So I don't want to say Sir, that you don't do, I have one request. So whatever you did it, us till now so we will recap everything in canada i will come to your uh, place oh so yes. share me some time. absolutely okay. more than happy 
more than happy to yes we can do it this saturday what is the date today uh friday come tomorrow tomorrow what time sir come in the morning 11 o'clock okay we'll 11 o'clock at yeah. least 3 hours so, we need 3 hours at least especially so, the statistics from event to the plot mm. so we will explain in kannada everything so yeah. let's see how how my driver explain in kannada also and i will record it also so that you can take the recording home and uh, again watch it okay uh, come okay All right right buddies bye bye have a good day i'll first put this on uh, recording now together both yesterday's and today's i'll send it's already there uh, slotted so together i'll send where is this why is this like this okay this uh, actually just one thing uh, so pandas uh, will we be covering it separately sir or is the video separate